doesn't happen very often on our road trips. Uh, Michelle driving. She looks really relaxed. Look at her go, honey. Stop distracting me. Look at her go. And that's what's in front of us. This is why she's so relaxed. All that traffic. It's the pine cones. It's the what? You can almost sense the relaxation off for her. Very zen. <laughs> Once again, lots going on. So, this is my last night by the ocean. And we're going to go up to the lake. And soon we're going home. Yep. Bye, and look at my necklace. It's a dolphin. That's beautiful. Wow. Tonight's our last night by the Gulf of St. Lawrence, so our last night with sea glass. I will. And sea creatures and stuff, so we're just looking for a little bit of sea glass right now, and we'll spend the night here, and then tomorrow we start to make our way home. We'll see how many days it takes us. Quebec. We spent the night here and now it's pouring rain. So we are just having a coffee and drawing before we hit the road to find a campground to spend the night so we can. Ivy's ready to go home. <laughs> All right, so we're on the route home. It's gonna take a day or two. Um, it's a rainy day, which is a great day for driving, but Ivy is very much a gross motor kid and needs to move around a lot. Uh, so she doesn't like being strapped in the car seat for longer than like an hour at a time, which means we can't get a lot of driving done. So we are out here in the rain, getting her moving around. Don't pop the lap. It's a wide ocean and the tides in motion and our homes are chosen yet still sure. we're all broken. It's been a while now since that old town down by the water picking stones from the ground. Friends I've always known Take me home Back to the place where I belong Three, two, one, go! Bye! See ya!